Hello everybody, welcome to Animal Crossing New Leaf Diaries. Today is Tuesday the 3rd of September 2013. We're into September. We have been for over two days now. <laughs> um, well there's Elvis, good. Earlier on he asked me to um, get him a piece of furniture uh, for his house. So I went to retail and bought a second hand <laughs> potted ivy. Oh, I'm such a good mayor. <laughs> What's he gonna say? Oh wow, he actually gave me furniture and not a piece of clothing. Boxing barricade. Eh. Eh. It's alright, I guess. Uh, as you can see, I've been doing work. I've been doing lots of work. Um, lots of flowers over here need watering, but that's okay. <coughs> oh, excuse me. Oh, frog in the throat. Uh, it rained the day before yesterday, that's why a lot of these flowers have withered or wilted because I didn't water them the day before, basically. But, uh, as you can see over here... Oh, this frog in my throat is not going away. I have got some bushes here, and I'm going to wrap it around my house, I think, two more. So that's going to be six on each side, so it'll be one, two... Three, four, five, six. Okay, maybe five on each side because I don't think you can plant one right next to the river. But we'll find out. And these are hydro. Hy hang on. Hydro. <laughs> Hy hydro. <laughs> Why am I laughing so hard at this? Hydrodendrons or something like that. Um, I do actually know the name of them. <laughs> I just can't pronounce it. Hydrodendrons. I think there's something like hydrodendrons or something like that. Um, but. I've already checked out Nook's today, haven't checked out Leaf's yet. Uh, Nook has absolutely nothing I'm interested in today. So that's fun! And I did see Phineas walking around earlier as well. Oh, he's got an axe, awesome. Uh, but, I didn't talk to him because I wanted to record it, because I, obviously, if he's around, then I'm going to get a new badge. Because earlier. Um, but, the weather has now gone cloudy, so he's hiding away, which kind of sucks, but oh well. Hydra... Hydrangea... 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 I don't know. <laughs> I really don't know. Um, but if I remember correctly, I did start off with a blue one. And I've alternated between blue, pink, blue, pink. So the next one should be blue. Which means I can plant this one, which is good. Um, unfortunately, because I, I did have a look in a guide for what these actually look like, and these are the, the ones I like the most, so that's why I wanted them outside my house, but unfortunately they only bloom for, I think, six weeks, a year, which kind of sucks a lot. Let's put it here. Please tell me I didn't miss. Three. There we go. <clears throat> Excuse me. Okay, so... Uh, I've been thinking about the path some more, and here's my idea. I'm going to have a main path system going around town like a loop, um, which is going to be too wide, like this bit here. This is all too wide. This down here is going to be too wide. I'm going to get to this section here. This section is going to be too wide. And then I'm going to have little paths going off. So like this bit's too wide here. This bit down here is too wide. Too wide along here and up here. And then, uh, sort of like sub paths will be only one wide. And I think that could look pretty damn cool. Unfortunately, I still haven't decided what to do with this side of town. As you can see, I've sort of... As soon as you get to about here, this is where the park is meant to start. Um, and basically the idea is, you see this line of flowers I'm in now? If you imagine this line go all the way along here, through Vic's house... Freya's spying on Vic, and kind of maybe come down here to the campsite. I want the bit between that imaginary line and the river to be the camp, not the camp, the park. So, that means, who's the, who lives here again? Biff is going to have to move out, Vic is going to have to move out. <laughs> who's this? Pom Pom, yeah she can go as well, as well as Celia. Um, so I've got to get them to move out. And I do now know how to do a trick where you can pick where the villagers will move into. It's not really... whoops. 
Ah, we'll see what Vic has to say. It's not really picking where they'll move. It's more like... <laughs> oh dear. It's more like uh, you regulate where they don't move. Uh, I'm going to actually have a guide on that as soon as I'm able to record it. Uh, luckily, Agnes moved out. I, I told Wally about her moving out because he wanted her. So, Agnes is now living in Wally's town in Capitan, which is cool if I ever want to see her, which I won't. <laughs> She's not that special. Um, but yeah, she moved out, so I'm waiting for another villager to move in, which is cool. Um, at the campsite right now is some weird ostrich thing, and I don't like it, so I don't want them to move in. <laughs> But yeah, um, as soon as a new character can move in, uh, that's when you will see that guide. And I'll explain more how it works. But it's a cool trick. I like it. I'm gonna, it's probably going to start using it from now on. Um, let's check the flowers up here, make sure they haven't wilted. Okay, we're all cool. Yep. I kind of like Tammy's house here, but I kind of don't. I think it's cool how it's nestled away, but I don't like it because it's nestled away. Um, oh, yeah, that, that, I saw a notification up there earlier or something or other. Um, okay, so here's... When I was saying about the two wide path thing, here is where something... Um, where, where I'm going to have some troubles. If I use my shovel, obviously I'm going to want something between uh, the station and the, the main street up here going down to the town plaza. But unfortunately, the gap between... Pardon me! The gap between the river and the rock here is only three wide, not four. So, I think I may have to have a one wide path going down here. Um, so that's not great. <laughs> um, still yet to figure out what to do with this section, because Last last week's or last episode hasn't gone up yet. That goes up tomorrow, and that's when I get your feedback on stuff. Uh, the other problem I have found out is, you know how I wanted to move this bridge so it was centered with this fountain. Well, I have literally only just found out that this fountain is also three wide, and the bridge is two wide. <laughs> so I'm probably gonna have to move the fountain over here. Maybe. Um, we'll see. We'll see. I just, just planning this thing out while there's a bunch of houses in the way really isn't easy. I still haven't had the golden watering can. And I think it's because... Oh, there's Phineas. Oh, there we go. And I think it's because whenever I buy turnips, I usually drop all my stuff on the floor, and then I drop all my money on the floor, I buy my turnips, and then I pick up everything afterwards. I think during that time I lose my perfect town status, so it resets. Ah, uh, which sucks. Oh yeah. Awesome. Oh yes, of course, because I donated the salmon yesterday. So I now should have the silver fish badge. Ba -da -ba -ba -ba. Sweet. Got any more for me? Nope. Didn't think so. Uh, let's have a look at our badges. Okay, so we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12 out of 24. Yeah, 12 out of 24, and 3 of those are silver. So good, good. Right. Uh, I'm going to need your guys' help with the paths, because I really don't know. Of course, again, don't forget to check out the dream code in the description, um, so you can walk around Moriwa, tell me what you think. I'm actually going to update it after I finish recording this video, um, but chances are there'll be another one by the, or there'll be another update by the time this, this video's gone out, so uh, there we go. Right, we've got a couple of minutes left. Okay, I'll just sit on this bench. <laughs> um, I'm really trying to think of what I can do. Hi Freya, what's up? Okay. Sure. <laughs> yep. What? Why would they give you that's a little low as an option? You better. I, I, there was a lot of blood, sweat, and tears went into getting that boxing barricade. That's a tree stump. <laughs> oh dear. 
Uh, let's see, this tree is okay. This tree is going to be in the way. So we're doing more path work. Awesome. Uh, like that. Chop you down. Oh, by the way, um, individual fruit on the tr on the ground don't count towards garbage as like um, taking away your perfect town status. Uh, but fruit baskets do, which is kind of weird. Tell you what, we will replant one of these pears. Back. Oh. There we go. <laughs> we will replant it right here. There we go. Or should I plant it back one further? Because actually it's in line with that tree. So I'm actually going to plant it there instead. Because... I'm thinking ahead. Okay, so... Let's carry on with the axe. See if there's anything else needs chopping down. Uh, walking through here. Yes, this lemon tree does. Um, I will be replacing some of these flower borders with hedge borders as well. It's just, at the minute, I want to get the layout done. Uh, let's replant one of you as well. Uh, let's see, we've got a tree there, so I don't want it directly in line. So let's put it... <laughs> that's where it was! Let's put it... No, not where that flower was. Let's put it... <laughs> I am having the worst time digging stuff up today. There we go. Jeez, oh my. Oof. I tell you, man, landscaping. Man, this is a tricky, tricky business. Here we go. That tree, sir, you are in the way. Money! Cash money, money, 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 cash money, 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 cash. Mori wood, Mori wood. There we go. So that's the path now completely clear on every single side so far, which is great. Very good job. Um, although we might have a path up here, which is a bit. Yep. Uh, we want to get rid of. Man, I really do apologize for my. Oh dear. B, 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 B. Let's try and catch it. This, this better go well. Oh, yeah! And breathe. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, that has happened a lot of times while I've been trying to chop trees down. Oh, and I will not lie again, since I've been chopping the trees down, that's the first time I've managed to catch one. <laughs> the rest have all stung me. Um, while I've been doing trees anyway. So let's think. If we want... This is going to be the main path. So we want to line it with something. I just remembered, do I have a... No, I thought I had a pink rose up here, I don't. Uh, I'm missing a pink rose or two with this little border thing here. Because this is three wide. So I may put a public works project in the middle, which is only one spot. Uh, so where this withered flower is, where I'm standing. I may put one there. I don't want a three wide one, because then it'll look like the path is going all around it, and uh, the path will be right up against it. I don't want that. And seeming as it's my town, I decide what I want. And stick with it. <laughs> okay. That's Phineas still. He won't give me anything new yet. Let's take these red tulips and put them where we have a path which we know is... oh dear. Drop it, and place them in a path where we know we want it to be. Um, AKA slider. Aha! Uh -huh. AKK slider. There's a pigeon. Not KK slider, he's not a pigeon. There was a pigeon just flew past my window. A red tulips. A red tulips. And a red tulips. Okay, uh, we need one, two, three, four more. What do you want now, Tammy? Yeah, it doesn't, because he stole that from Elvis. Let's try change. Um, um, 
Um, <laughs> I suck at this. Um, Tammy, she's Uchi, so that means she's kind of... Yeah, let's just go you see. Let's see. The yep, that'll do. Okay, sweet. Let's get these last red tulips over by the path. And look at that, we've got four. But I think we've only got pocket space for f three of them. And of course nothing there. Let's plant a lemon tree. <laughs> Not there. <laughs> oh man, I tell you, I am the most... I, I am a perfectionist. When it comes to things like this, I am a perfectionist. I mean, everything has to work absolutely seamlessly. And if you've seen any of my Feed the Beast episodes as well, I am exactly like that in everything. Whenever I invent or create some sort of machine, I'm just like, right, it has to be perfect, it has to shut down exactly right. Um, just stuff like that. It's it, it's a real burden, but the end product is usually awesome. So there's always that. <laughs> uh, so let's see. We have a line along here, which means that would be just above the rock. Awesome. You're sprinting. Run. I race you. Your little legs can't go faster than mine. Ha <laughs> ha. So to end off this episode or this portion of the episode, because we've been going on about 15 minutes. Uh, you know, it's weird. Um, I, I, di I did some little workings out. And I think there's only two more, after this one, episodes of New Leaf Diaries on this schedule. Uh, before I switch to the bi-monthly thing. Um, by the way, I have a really cool finale sort of thing worked out for that. Wally, Wally showed me something a while ago. And it is just perfect. Um, so, by the way, by, when I say finale, I mean switching from this schedule to bi-monthly. <laughs> It's not actually ending, because this series is fun. It just takes a lot of work. So uh, I was going to try and catch a salmon, but there doesn't seem to be one here. Which kind of sucks. I've already caught salmon. I need king salmon. Anyway, thanks for watching, guys. And I will see you guys tomorrow. Wednesday, 4th of September 2013. I received an afternoon tea set from Nintendo today and placed it in my kitchen. Perhaps I'll leave it in here. It depends if I have enough space once I've got the larger pieces of furniture in. Continuing with working on the path layout, I placed a few new flowers about town to make the path borders more obvious. I still don't have a white carnation yet, so I watered the red and pink ones in hopes to get the new hybrid tomorrow. Red had pitched his tent in the town plaza today, so I looked around to see if I could pick out the new art piece. I found the mystic statue and decided to purchase it. Thursday, 5th of September 2013, I took the Mystic Statue to Blavers today and was glad to find that it was genuine. The art gallery in the museum is the least complete section but it's definitely improving. Reese was purchasing turnips for 142 bells each, so I sold all of mine for just under 400,000 bells. I'm going to save these for something special and probably won't buy any turnips next week. I did, however, find that Tom Nook had the stone roof in store, so I thought I'd order it in to see if it would fit in with the rest of the cabin-themed exterior. Friday 6th of September 2013. I went to see Isabel today to check how satisfied the citizens are with Moriwood. She told me that they've been extremely satisfied for over 15 days now, 
So it gave me a golden watering can to celebrate. To commemorate the occasion, I set up a new public works project which Biff requested the previous evening. I chose the classic police station over the modern one, as it will fit in with how I'd like the rest of my town to look a lot better. I found a nice central location for it just south of the town hall and east of the events plaza. I went to the post office to grab some money and paid off the police station immediately, so it will be built by the morning. Elvis spotted me as I was gathering up some flowers. He asked me to give him a new catchphrase. I thought the one I chose fits his personality nicely. I planted the flowers I gathered around the border of the police station so that there's a path ready for when it's built tomorrow. Then I went to the beach to check out the efficiency of my brand new golden watering can. <laughs> <laughs> 